Hi guys, today I have a process video for Project Life. Now this is an older spread. This kind of got lost and I meant to post it a long time ago, but I liked it so much that I wanted to share it with you guys. I'm going to use some cards from Simple Stories, Frankie and Friends. And as you can see here, I'm also going to be adding this flip pocket. I had some extra pictures that weren't fitting on the spread, so I wanted to add them with that flip pocket. I also have this boo card that's really super cute. I'm going to add that to the second page of the spread. This is going to be a two page spread and these are all the cards I'm using. Again, guys, I'm sorry this is so late. I guess we're going to have Halloween in the middle of summer. So so let's get into this. Okay, these are the wood veneers that I'm going to be using. Some of them are from American Crafts and others are from Gossamer Blue, which is a monthly Project Life subscription kit. And I'm going to be using the ephemera pack from Simple Stories for Frankie and Friends as well. I absolutely love this collection, guys. And that is why I wanted to show you this video because I really love the way it came out. And here are the pictures that I printed out on my Canon selfie. I cut them randomly in different sizes. Some of them I may have adjusted for specific cards, but most of them were kind of on the random side. So that is it guys. I'm gonna pull this card out first, the one that says spooky that's in the flip pocket. And we're gonna start with this one. I'm gonna place it over on my mat and let's get started. Okay, you guys know I usually speed up this portion of the video. I'm trying not to make it too long, but it's still long, so get comfortable. Here are some pictures of my husband and I in our costumes. We go all out for Halloween, so I really wanted to include these pictures. And I found this really, really fun cork piece that says best costume. And that was in the Gossamer Blue kit for um, October. It was the add-on kit, and I love it. It worked so perfect with these pictures and that is me kissing the skeleton that's up on our front porch and that's my husband standing near our witch balloon that we put out in our yard with a cauldron and a smoke machine so like I said we go all out and I'm adding some enamel dots and my favorite stamping up rhinestones I just wanted to uh, give a little emphasis to that flag that says happy Halloween on the top of the card it was looking a little too plain for me so I wanted to add something thing here. And I really love the way that came out. Very simple, just the pictures and a few accent pieces. And here are two more pictures of us. I'm trying not to add too much to the cards because there's so many colors involved and everything is so bright and loud. I'm trying to decorate as least amount as possible and that is sometimes difficult for me. Now this picture cracks me up. This is my husband holding his candy blood, which he totally loved for his vampire costume. And I found this perfect ephemera piece that says, I want candy, because the little blood bag said candy on it. So it was really, really cute, and I wanted to emphasize that. So I'm going to add these stars, and I'm using my Tombow Multi-Adhesive. It's just easier to use from my tape runner when you have an odd-shaped piece like that. And I'm just trying to dress up the background. That black was just looking a little too black. So I wanted to break it up a little. And I found this really cute sticker that is in the Frankie and Friends sticker collection that says, uh, double, double toil and trouble. And that's basically the two of us. So it was perfect. <laughs> and I'm going to slide that card in. I'm going to call that one done. And I really love how the I want candy came out. <laughs> so we're going to move on to the next card and we're going to do two more pictures of us in our costumes. Very, very goofy. I am not proud of myself when I look at that picture now. <laughs> Just trying to have fun. We're always doing that. We dress up for the neighbor kids. They really enjoy it. And here I'm just adding this sticker that says Howling Man. And I thought that was really, really funny. And I'm just going to add some staples in the top corner of these pictures for some texture and some interest. Not necessarily to hold the pictures down, just for some texture on those top parts of the photo. And I'm going to flip through the ephemera pack, which is also from the Frankie and Friends collection. And I'm just trying to find something that's not too loud here to emphasize these pictures. I love those googly eyes. They're so funny. 
And I'm going to add a, another rhinestone here, guys, because you know that I'm totally addicted to rhinestones and enamel dots. I'm going to put the enamel dots down first, just trying to bring some interest into the plain parts of the picture and a little rhinestone on the bat. And I really like how that came out. So I'm going to call that card done and that's going to be behind the flip pocket. And I'm really happy with how that came out. Okay, we're gonna go on to the next card. This one here is a picture of the zombie that we keep on our front deck. Kelly's son's name is Scott and he worked at Walmart back in the day. So we saved his Walmart tag and we put it on the mummy and we call it Scott. It's so silly. <laughs> so I'm just going through the stickers that came with the collection and I'm spelling back throwback. And the reason why is because we did not actually take these pictures in October of 2014. We took them in 2012 and 2013. Because of house renovations, we weren't able to decorate. Now I know what you guys are going to say here. I spelled throwback wrong. <laughs> I sure did. And don't worry, it takes me a long while, but I do eventually fix it, so don't worry. That gets fixed later on the video. And I have this spider wood veneer that I really like, but it wasn't doing what I wanted it to do. I wanted it to stand out more, so I took out my Tim Holtz Distress Paints, and I'm going to paint this with black soot. I really like the way that came out. I wanted it to definitely look more like a spider than a piece of wood veneer. And then I'm gonna add a little iridescent sparkle embossing powder. This is made by Jetikins. And I'm gonna sprinkle it on while the paint is still wet and that's gonna help the embossing powder adhere to the wood veneer. It's gonna adhere to the paint, which is adhere to the wood veneer, so it works out really well. And I'm gonna heat it up and look how cute that turned out. I was so happy with the results of this spider. He is so adorable and trust me, I don't like spiders usually of any sort and this one came out so cute. So I'm gonna add a rhinestone to him and totally thrilled with the outcome. I'm going to use my Tombow Multi Adhesive to glue that down. I love that glue for wood veneers. And then I'm going to add a thousand little rhinestones to all the accent pieces and the spiders on the spider webs. I figure because I'm going a little bit more minimalistic in the putting on the decoration pieces, I want a lot of bling on these. And plus it's Halloween. You need a lot of bling. <laughs> So I'm going to slide that card in and I'm going to call that one done. Now the next one is Witch's Feet and this is perfect. We have a yard balloon that's a witch that we set up with her little cauldron and we put a smoke machine in there so it looks like she's, uh, you know, cooking in her cauldron. It's really, really adorable. So the picture was kind of getting lost on that green background because there's a lot of green from the grass in the picture. So I'm just gonna mat it on a piece of black cardstock. I figure this way it frames the picture and it brings your eyes towards the picture before it was blending in too much and I thought that was just perfect. I don't wanna add too much to this card. I want the the spotlight to be on the picture itself. So I'm just gonna add a couple of more of these ephemera pieces that were in the collection for Frankie and Friends. And I really like these stars. I think I ended up using all the ones in the pack. And I, of course, I'm gonna add some rhinestones to her shoes, cause I just think they were missing something. So I wanted to add a little bling to this card as well. And that's gonna be pretty much constant through this whole layout. And I really like the way that came out. We are gonna call this card done. And we're gonna move on to the next card. Now this next card says boo, but I'm gonna ultimately end up covering that up. This is a picture of a statue or a little thing that we have on our front porch, and it's really cute. It's motion activated, so when the kids come up and come to the door for trick-or-treating, it sings, and it's really cute. So I wanted to make sure he made it inside of our spread. We actually don't have a name for him, so I'm gonna have to talk to my husband about naming him since, you know, the zombie is Scott. Maybe we'll make that his other son, which is Ryan. I don't know. So that card is done, and we're gonna move on to this one that's October 30th. I added two things, a sticker and a 
rhinestone to the spider and I left it really, really simple. Now this one here, I'm pretty simple in this one too as well. I do add this ephemera piece that says October 31st, though the card on the left says October 31st, I didn't care. The font was so different on this. I wanted to add it here. It just works so perfectly on that card. Like it should have been on that card. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. And I take out another American Crafts wood veneer, but it's not the right color. So I'm going to use Chip Sapphire and Seedless Preserves to mix these two colors together. They're Tim Holtz Distress Paints. And at first I was trying to match the bat that was in that picture that I just placed on my mat, but then I didn't want to do that. I wanted to match the ephemera piece that I'm going to use on this card. And you'll see in just a second, I'm going to pull up that ephemera piece and match the purple because I didn't have the right purple in Distress Paints. So that's another neat little trick. You can combine two colors together to make Make whatever color that you want and I like to do that when I can't find the right color and I love the way that bat came out I wanted him to stand out against the orange background and the other bats so I'm going to hear him down with my multi adhesive and as you can see I put too much and it squeezed out from around it but that's okay I can just scrape it off that glue dries clear so you're never going to see it and of course I'm going to put a ton more rhinestones on these cards because I think I probably went through a whole stamping up sheet of rhinestones <laughs> on this two page spread but I love how this card came out as simple as it is and it doesn't have any pictures but it's probably my favorite one on the whole spread I just love how it came out so that is completed we're going to go on to the next card this one here says where's the candy and my husband and I carve pumpkins every year and we you know have a competition and whose is better and I wanted to include that and of course you guys think the one with the spider is better right right because that one's mine so <laughs> and I found this little uh ephemera piece that says the boo crew I thought that was perfect and of course, we're going to add some rhinestones to finish this off. And I think that card came out just perfect. So I'm going to add that to the bottom left. And then this card here, I'm going to go very simple on this as well. Um, so much is going on on this layout that I try to put as little as possible on each card. And you guys know that's tough for me. So I'm going to take this wood veneer of the skull and I'm going to paint it with my Tim Holtz Distress Paints. I believe that's Picket Fence. And I wanted to make it white. And I'm going to pull in that Judikins Sparkle Embossing Powder again. And while the paint is still wet, I'm going to sprinkle it on top. It's going to adhere to the paint. And then I'm going to take my heat tool and I'm going to activate the embossing powder. And I'm going to heat it. And it's going to turn really, really sparkly. You'll see that in just a minute. And it just looks so, so adorable. The embossing powder is the perfect little accent to put on painted wood veneers if you want that extra little bling and that's what I was going for. So I'm going to add that to the right side of the card with my Tombow glue again. And again, I didn't want to put too much on this card. There's so much going on in the rest of the spread. I'm trying to keep it at a minimum and I'm really, really happy with the way it came out. It's so cute and so sparkly. So I'm going to add that card back into the spread and that's it guys. I'm going to show you a close up of each of the cards. I love the way the flip pocket came out really, really cute. And I was able to get extra pictures in with that. Now the throwback is still spelt incorrectly, but I will eventually correct that. And I love the way the October 31st cards came out. So, so cute. And our pumpkins as well. And again, the spider's the best one, right guys? <laughs> so that page is complete. I'm going to show you an overview of it. And I'm really happy with how it came out. So we're going to move on to card number two or page number two. And we're going to take this first card out. And I'm just going to put out some pictures of our yard balloons. We put out uh, several of them. The spider is new, so I wanted to make sure he made it in there this year. And I think we have six in total. I've already put the which one on the left side. There's going to be four here, and then there's going to be another one in a future card coming up, so you'll see that. And I wanted to get them to all squeeze onto that one card, and then I found this cute little ephemera piece that I'm just going to add there. Very simple, with a rhinestone, and I'm going to call this card actually done. 
like the way that came out. Now, this is probably my favorite card. I know I said the October 31st ones were, but I really like these two. This is my cat, Salem. We got her several years back on Halloween, and her nickname is Boo. That's what we call her. So I thought this was absolutely perfect. And because this was a Halloween spread and part of a throwback, I wanted to make sure that she got on the card. Okay, I'm going to use this wood veneer that came in the Gossamer Blue add-on kit for October. It's so cute. And I want to stick with that same method I was using earlier with the wood veneers. I'm going to use my Tim Holtz black soot to paint it. Ugh, I think it just looks so cute. And I realized once I painted it, the eyes were covered up. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of repair work to this little kitty cat. <laughs> the first thing I want to do here is I want to emphasize the eyes because they got covered up with the paint. I want to make sure that I get the eyes back on the cat and I match them to Salem's eyes because I figured that would be cute. She's got like a greenish yellow color to her eyes. And then once I took it off, I realized, hmm, it's still not looking 100% like I want it to. So I'm going to add two little rhinestones to make the pupils of the eyes and that definitely fixes it and makes it look the way that I want it to look. And I love how it came out because I made a little replicate of the boo. <laughs> and even my husband calls her boo. It's so funny. I mean, it makes sense. We got her on Halloween. She's black. Yep, we name her Salem. It's confusing. People think she's a boy. But anyway, I'm just kind of trying to figure out where to put the cat here. Uh, because of that pattern on the right side, it was a little difficult. So I did have to mess around with this one just a little bit. And then I finally just kind of got the right spot. It just kind of fell into place. And look how cute that came out. I totally love it. And then on the top, it says, be spooky. Because <laughs> she's always trying to be spooky. Okay, we're going to go on to the next card. Here is the last and sixth yard balloon which is our Frankenstein and I wanted to make sure that I included him as well since we had all the other yard balloons in and I had this ephemera piece that says trick-or-treat from the collection as well as some more enamel dots the background seems a little bit plain that green in the background so I just kind of have to try and incorporate the picture into the background and I think if that works and no I'm not putting another <laughs> <laughs> rhinestone down. Okay, maybe I am. <laughs> okay, so we're going to call that card done and move on to the next one. Okay, and on this one, I wasn't really sure what to do, so I put a little bit of Wink of Stella. It's hard to see um, in the video, but in real life, it's really, really pretty and sparkly. And I'm going to add one rhinestone to the inside of the spider web, and we're going to call that card good. And we're going to move on to the next card. Now in this next card, my husband is in a different outfit. He still has his vampire cape on, but he has a different face on. And that's because the other um, Halloween pictures of our costumes was 2012. This one is 2013. Since this is a throwback um, layout. There was no way I could let Halloween go by with no pictures. So I came up with the idea doing the throwback and I just add the pumpkin um, ephemera piece there and I really like the way that came out. And then we have this card here that's the eye chart and I believe I only add a couple of rhinestones to the center of the O's and I really like doing that because it'll tie it into all the other cards that are on the layout and it make makes it look like I didn't just leave it alone. And then we're gonna work on this card here. It says boo, and these are our outdoor uh, shots, just a couple of them. And I'm not doing a lot to this card. I'm just throwing down these three pictures here, of some random things around the outside of the house, and this piece of ephemera from the collection as well. I thought that worked really well. Now I do want to add something to the top left hand corner of that card. It's really plain so I get a little crazy here and I end up adding a full strip of rhinestones on the top. I figured it would look cute and tie it into the rest of the spread as well. And then we're going to work on the last card. 
This is inside pictures of our house, just some snapshots. And I love that ephemera piece of the haunted house because it's just so perfect. Now, here is a wood veneer from American Crafts. I'm going to use a spiced marmalade to color this one like I did all the rest of the wood veneers. The only problem that I ran into with this one is once I painted it, I realized you could no longer read the Happy Halloween on it. So I'm just going to go into my stash and pull out some pens and I'm kind of going through just trying to see which ones are going to work out the best and I end up with the 08 size and I'm just going to write over the lettering and that worked out really well. It fixed my problem. So I'm going to get that all put together on the card. I'm going to put down that ephemera piece of the house and then those two pictures were taken in my living room of some uh, random decorations. I'm going to adhere down, adhere down the wood veneer with some Tombow multi-purpose glue. And then that little house was just over too far, so I'm just going to pick it up and move it. And I'm going to add an enamel dot to the top of it. And I believe I'm going to call this card done. And that's it, guys. I'm really happy with how it came out. So here is a close-up of each of the cards on this second page. I tried to go as easy as possible with the decorations on this one. Because again, since it's so busy and so many loud colors, I tried to go as simple as possible. And I'm really, really happy with the way it came out really super cute. So I am going to zoom out here so you can get an overall look of it. And I'm going to put both pages side by side because that's how it's going to look inside my album. Totally love it. Thumbs up this video if you guys like this. I'm going to have some new updated videos coming out soon. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, I will leave that below. Thank you so much for watching guys. I really appreciate it and see you guys soon. Bye.